And so it continues. Back in the hole. many suspects. I feel like I haven't consumed enough sugar donuts. Well then, Agent York, do you have any plans for this evening? I was going to head back to the hotel and go over my notes. I need to contact HQ and give a progress report, too. Okay, and let's call it a day here. Sounds good. Contact my office when you finish your report. We'll pick you up tomorrow morning. Diane, the owner of the art gallery, should be back soon. All right, then, let's do that. Hold on, Agent York. We're going out to eat at Nick's Diner. Would you like to come with us? The diner? That might be nice. Thomas is a great cook, but Nick is the real deal. Oh? No visit to Greenvale is complete without eating at the A&G. A very appealing proposition. Zach, what do you think? Yo, let's go. You can always go back to the hotel after eating dinner. Or yeah, it sounds directly great. back to the hotel. You decide, Zach. Ah, let's go eat with them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Sheriff here for look at that burger. A long time now, and this is the worst murder I've ever seen. Our town is a little odd in some ways, but it's usually a peaceful place. We had our fair share of cases, but just the regular stuff. A high school kid shoplifting from the milk barn, maybe, or some hot-headed kids fighting, fueled on liquor. Nothing more than that. Agent York, what kind of cases have you dealt with in the past? Not much different from those you've just mentioned. The case I was on until last month, well, the guy killed seven girls in a three-month period. Oh, yeah, it's a he big difference. He sawed their heads off from the neck and took them back to his house. He Jesus cleaned Christ. the skulls up and used them as utensils in his daily life to eat from or as a urine cup. What the fuck? Oh. He hated women. That was his way of dealing with it. What? He'd fill skulls God with damn. ice, cola, and rum. This is not the music for this. For him, that was a holy ritual. The question of his mental state was the pivotal point in the court case. Oh, man. For me, he was insane. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> Drinking from the skulls. Well, that is one thing, but... But those he had used to relieve himself, he would then just use them to drink from, too. Yeah, that was too much for me. This story so without <laughs> this music is so fucked up! Not sanitary. Uh, that's probably not the problem for most of us. What else? Ah, yes. An ingenious law school student raped over a holy years. shit that was a nasty one thank you agent york now let's talk about something else what the you fuck? don't want to hear anymore that's a shame isn't it zach i was just about to get to the good part too sounds like you live in a totally different world i mean you're like an elite agent who just jumped out from a movie or something in your eyes we must look like we're just playing cops and robbers Ugh. I give up. I can't compete with you. Don't say that, Emily. The cases you have solved are all full-fledged crimes. A crime is a crime. Size doesn't matter. There is no big and small. Crimes always have a, a criminal and a victim. 
Why do you say no that as you're staring into the flame? Heart, no matter what its size. So, fundamentally, there is no difference in size. Well said, Agent Morgan. We work day and night to preserve peace and order in this town. You understand that, right? This music, man. Of course, but still, I don't view shoplifting and Anna's murder as the same level of crime. Me, neither. I never even dreamt that such a thing could ever even happen in this town. <laughs> I keep on expecting to see Anna here in this diner, waiting on tables. <laughs> Excuse us, Agent Morgan. We should have made dinner a more uplifting experience. Let's call it a night. Okay. Good night, then. <laughs> she just straight up got up and is like, All right, yeah, bye. Yeah, you're right. Later. This shit's awkward. Bye. Bow wow. Sweet Jesus, man. Where's my bike? Hmm, time to make a report. He looks different without his coat on. Almost an entirely different person. Don't know why. Okay then, Zach. Let's go back over our progress. First the victim. Anna's death. She was found hanging from a tree in the forest. She was cut open with a knife from her chest down to her stomach. That was the direct cause of death. The strangulation marks and skull fracture were caused after death. Her tongue was also bit off, and I found something inside her mouth. Do you remember what that was, Zach? It was the red seed. That's right. We found the same red seed in her mouth. Yeah, video game, Going I'm listening. Emily, it was raining when Anna was I promise. Killed but traces of tears were still evident on her face. Which means the perpetrator killed Anna under a roof in the lumber mill and then carried her body into the woods after it stopped raining. We found numerous important pieces of evidence at the site of the crime. A total of four things. Knee prints in the grass. A wood chip with metal dust. A photo of a man with a tattoo on his back and one other thing. Do you remember what that was, Zach? Was it stiletto? Oh shit, or was it the raincoat? That's wrong, Zach. Come on. Sorry. Okay, okay, I, okay, I, I should have went with my gut. Knee prints in the grass. A wood chip covered in metal flakes photo of a man with a tattoo on his back and one other thing I just remember discussing the trench coat thingy that's right a broken stiletto heel aligning this with the other evidence suggests that two people came into contact with Anna's body Tech, you busted my balls yeah. <laughs> those being the perpetrator who killed Anna and Miss Stiletto Heel there is also the possibility that a third party carried Anna to the woods. That means we could be dealing with three people. Why would you just randomly add a third Two person and three people? In any case, Miss Stiletto Heel may have vital information. We need to find her next. We didn't use forensic methods, but we're still closing in on the criminal. <sighs> have I forgotten anything? Ah, of course. The marks on her hand tell us that Anna was gripping something when she died. Do you remember that, Zach? Yeah, the orb with the peace sign on it. What do you think she was holding on to?
That was a round object. That's right. A round object. The marks on her hand suggest a piece mark. The man in the photo found in the woods had a tattoo of an upside down piece mark on his back. These two could well be related. But we don't know for sure. Next, the town folk. Yeah? A few are worthy of special attention. Carol McLean, the singer and bar owner. She's Thomas's sister. Then there's Nick Cormack, the owner of the diner. Both of them seem to be hiding something. Hmm. There's Diane, the owner of the art gallery, who is out of town. Then we have problematic, old, rich, and eccentric. Thanks, Pain Saw, for gifting a sub to uh, Bees in My Eyes. Nice name. Well, we just have to go one by one. I've been thinking. One of the biggest rewards here is the fantastic food. Enjoying food is cultural, and yet it's also a bit uncivilized. It's interesting how good food motivates me to work harder during investigations. Oh, and on Emily's back, it was strange to me. What's that? Hey, don't take that the wrong way, Zach. No, what's I up? I wasn't getting all excited or anything. No, go on. But it did make me feel strange. Nostalgic and sad, almost. Oh? It's starting to rain. I think this case may take a while. Oh, all right. Uh, go on. Please go on. Oh, thanks. Ellie! Last time, Ellie! I'll eat later. You'll eat right now, young lady. You need to listen to your mother. I want to hear the rest of the story. Eat your lunch, then take a nap. Then I'll tell you the rest. But I want to hear it now. There's no need to rush things. You must live your life at the pace that is right for you. What does that mean? Honey, We're just hanging out, honey, honey. listening to stories. Look at that ham, though. Damn. That was a good-looking ham. You just got a dogmobile? That's hot. <laughs> Buckle up. Here we go, little sapling. Those oh, wow. oh, whoa, whoa, bark. Whoa, holy shit. Dinner cleared. Hello, FGM. Episode one clear dope. Wow, we let me fix it to take to get the wrong PC. Thirsty? Yeah, that's why I got a drink. Uh just you one. Must be very thirsty. You only take milk with your coffee. Coffee with milk, that's all. Huh. 
Who are you? My name is Becky. What are you doing here? My name is Becky. Anna's friend? My name is Becky. After your throat is quenched, you must do what you must do. Take a sip of coffee and go. Huh? Time to go? Dream lollipop. And a cookie. Hi. Right. Card, you asked if I'm really into D and D. Yeah, absolutely. Love D and D. That's me. I'm a baby. That's me when it happened. Oh, okay. What happened? Love those pictures of pizza. Zach, this case looks like it's directly related to us. I do not know how yet, but I do know I need some coffee. George said he'd have someone pick us up in the parking lot. Let's get some breakfast with Polly first. Did you need something? No, I was just passing by. I didn't think anybody wow else was here wee. other than Polly. Who the, the fuck is this? Like wow just, it surprised me, that's all. Whoa. Forrest Kaysen? Hey. Hello, dog. I'm Kaysen, <gasps> Forrest Kaysen. Nice to meet you. I travel a whole lot, you see, selling tree saplings. Just the usual salesman doing the usual road trip. Sometimes Bart. I feel, I don't know, like a jolly old bumblebee spreading pollen. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Bart. I get it. You're the Special wow Agent wee. Scarface that everyone's yakking about. Scarface. Nice. To meet nice. You, Francis. Special Agent Scarface? I'd need a bigger scar to live up to that name. Call me York. That's what everyone calls me. What? <laughs> you got it. York. Is this your first visit here, then? No, sir. Actually, I've been coming here once or twice a year for oh, a while now. I don't get much business here, but it sure does make a fine vacation. I mean, it's a gorgeous hotel at a bargain price. I also get the it's Peter so Griffin vibes. Relaxing in these parts too. Oh, I just love all the nature. I feel so relaxed here. Hey, dog. Tell me the dog gets an intro too. Say hi to Willie. Oh, don't worry. He's a good boy. Do you like dogs? Hey, Willie. Wow -wee. How are you doing? <gasps> Woof. Woof. He's pretty smart, too. Oops. Before I forget, let me give you this. It's just a sample of what I sell. Oh, thanks. Bark. Uh, thank you. Bark. How kind of you. Thanks for the tree. Wow. He said another one right there? Okay. Yeah. Out here. Sounds like more than just a vacation. A murder, actually. Bark. The perpetrator is still out there. Try to stay indoors at night and during the rain. We want to prevent it from happening again, okay? 
Oh, it's a darn shame. Places like this used to Woof. be the safest Woof. in America. Wow. Do you know a lot about seeds? seeds? Oh, yeah. Gardening, huh? You don't look like a green thumb, but let me tell you, though. I'm pretty much the only one who can make those saplings sprout. There's a trick to it that can't really be passed on, you know? It's like, oh, the secret of making a good smoke. You have to kill somebody and like put that. the seed in their throat? But you know, once they sprout, you don't need to do much. You can leave it be and why it'll turn into a big tree no matter what happens. Kind of like those stocks that wow, politicians wee. buy that just keep growing and growing. Well, you just wait and see. This town is gonna love them. <laughs> right. We were just about to go take a morning stroll, so I'll get going. Good luck now with that case. Thanks. Wow, we that guy Axe so, Man? Do you remember what the coffee said? F and K. Forest case and Oh shit. F K. The coffee never lies. Or this show has just begun. What's coffee gonna say today? Coffee! Breakfast looks as good as yesterday's. I hope you enjoy it. I will, and thank you. I just met Kaysen, actually. Oh, good old Mr. Kaysen. Did he give you a sapling? As a matter of fact, he did. Don't tell me he gives one to everyone he meets. No, no. Only to the people he feels comfortable with. He told me. Oh. He must feel really comfortable with me. He must. Is there anyone he hasn't given a sapling to? Mustard? Okay, I'll just get it from the kitchen then. Okay. Mustard has nothing to do with it. I was wondering if you know of anyone that Kaysen wow didn't give a sapling to. Oh, too much pepper. I did think it might be. I'm sorry. Oh, Zach, I forgot. We'll never get anything out of her, will we? Dag nabbit. Forrest Kaysen. He's hiding something. Or you think so too, right, Zach? Yeah, I met a game. No I saw rush. that he, he came here with the lady. All secrets are hidden until they are inevitably divulged. The powers of entropy. The world exposes everything and causes chaos. Just like this coffee. Oh goodness. What was that? A Q and a C? Oh, now what? Good morning, Agent Morgan. Did you sleep well? Morning, George. Dreamland was quite nice. You do look well rested. Oh, I was up practically all night doing paperwork. Thomas helped me out, so I was able to go home and get some sleep, but not enough. Diane got back into town late last night. We should give her a visit. Which means going to the art gallery, correct? She lives and works in the office there, so it's the only place to find her. The gallery is open from 10 to 1700. This game's got like art six soundtracks, and they they make use of every one of them. Such a small countryside town. Amazing, Zach. Oh my god. What's wrong with your face? Hey. The gallery is called Muses Gallery. The Muses were the nine daughters of the goddess of memory in Greek mythology. Ah, uh, it's just like Diane to name it that way. Is she that intelligent? That's woman? so Diane. Oh, uh, maybe. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Did you see how Emily reacted, Zach? I sense that this Diane is not popular among other women. I can't wait to meet her. The gallery is on the north side of town. Take the road along the lake and go north. Oh, 
Oh, we're gonna be pretty like me. Aw. Thanks for noticing. Ooh woo. Oh shit! Deja vu! We're almost there. We're gonna make it. Ugh. Ate the punky pie? Nice. Looks more like an old mansion than an art gallery. Diane liked the building so much she turned it into an art gallery. She left the exterior untouched and had the insides redone. So she's rich. Stinking she this place, rich. Didn't she? Does that answer your question? Indeed it does. Yo, there's no roof over where they're standing. Well, George. The murder did not happen here. With Diane alone. Will you wait here for me? Uh, don't tell me you still don't trust us. No, that's not it. But this is very important to me. I always make sure that I meet with the important ones, one on one. Otherwise, it's difficult to sense the subtle reactions of the suspect. This is just how I do things, and I'd appreciate your understanding. Please stand in the rain. Thanks. But. Go on, then. Important ones, not the not vegetables. Yeah, anyway, of course. Party. You're starting to understand me, George. Well then, Zach. Let's go and meet Lady Diane. You got a knock? Cause it's like, oh wait, no, this is like a gallery. Never mind. Let's say, oh, this was a house for a moment. Oh shit. That looks fucking artistic as Hello. fuck. Hello. Hello. No reply. Let's take a look around then, Zach. This place is huge. Can't wait to run away from the shadow demons in here. Oh, hey. <sighs> Hello, Olivia. Do you like art? Yes. Yes, I do. Well, uh, I mean, I, I like trees. Oh, I like turtles. Trees. Okay. Ah, but I see because these are all tree paintings. Do you come here often then? Oh, uh, well, um, no. Just sometimes. I'm sorry, I really need to get back to the diner. What's up, pies for you? Zach, she was lying about something. She said trees, not paintings of trees. She doesn't need to come here to see trees. There's tons of trees <laughs> outside. You're right. You're so goddamn right. Oh no, what's happening? Wow, we. Ooh, clue. I smell a clue. Oh boy. So, um, what do we got here? Oh no, my menu's fucked. I need to find a phone quick. Or I gotta save. When the menu's fucked up, it usually means a crash isn't coming. Uh, I'm gonna appreciate the artwork. It's all trees, man. Trees ain't one of my favorite subjects and to be arted, you do. You get what I'm saying? Just ain't my thing. I've seen enough Bob Ross in my life to say I appreciate enough paintings of trees. Uh, oh, we knew it was coming. We absolutely knew it was coming. Oh, I let's get to the red one real fast. Seems like the winner. 
Oh, hey, it's a missing photo. Picture, whatever. A large tree. Th oh. What am I supposed to be looking for on this? A number of trees on it? One? What is this? I see a padlocked door through the window. I might be able to shoot the lock off from here. Yeah, whatever you say so, dude. Very cool. Now crawl in there. Okay, I'm in. Girl in the woods. Huh? This. Call this a painting? A bit primitive with poor composition. Hardly the work of a master. But strangely, though, it powerfully exudes a soft, warm feeling. Ooh, I back can feel it. Guardian of the art gallery in fresh strokes. So someone added that recently. Guardian of the art gallery. Wouldn't that be Diane? And why is this painting here? How many chimps do I think I take out in a fight? Maybe one. I don't know. Chimps are absolutely beasts. So maybe one. Giant chicken or a hundred rats. Ooh, man. I feel like I've fought both of those things in Dark Souls before. Zach, something is still missing. That's not it. We need more clues. The numbers, Mason, what do they mean? Are you able to quick swap weapons on the D-pad? Oh, wow! Thanks. Thanks for the new tech. Hey, duped. And no ominous music. Oh. Like I said, there's no point in you having this. I can put it to far better use. I'm taking it with me, okay? That's fine by me then, as you wish. Hey. Is that Becky? Bark. The FBI agent, right? Just wait a moment, please. I'll be right with you. Why are your hands up like that? Nobody's got a gun. Or do they? So there's no way you could have been at the scene of the crime. That's right. I was drinking at the bar with Nick until early morning. I'm sure if you ask him about it, he'll say the same. Very well. I'll be sure to do that. One other thing. That argument with Carol just now. Oh, that was Carol. My bad. She's always like that. She thinks of me as an enemy. Always bickering at what I say. Is there any reason for that? Perhaps because someone she liked ended up with me in my bed? Oh, ho, ho. I'm explaining, yes. So upset. If I may be so bold, who was the lucky man? Oh, I sleep with anyone I wish. Anyone I prefer to sleep with. I guess she had her eye on one of them, but I don't know who it was exactly. I could sleep with you, if you like. I'm flattered by your offer, but I don't think that would be appropriate. You're exactly the kind of woman a man in my job should never get involved with. Isn't that a shame, darling? Aw, oh, man. 
Sorry, I don't control York that well. I'll be frank. Right now, you are not a suspect. But both Zack and I are certainly feeling shaky about you. If you want to remain in the clear, just watch yourself from now on. Oh, you don't know, do you? Huh? Artists and art lovers, we love a good thrill. Oh! Thank you for your help. I have nothing further to ask you at the moment. Goodbye. <laughs> He's real quick with it.